welcome back. I'm going to do something a little different this week. This is our first like normal week back of all activities on their normal schedule since school started. So rather than go through and make plans, I'm gonna work on a template for a typical week. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, but that way I maybe will find a way of not rewriting everything every single week. The template that I'm using is from daydesigner.com. I could have made my own, but this was pretty good. So I decided to go ahead and use it. So I cut some teeny tiny post-its. These were originally like post-it flags and I cut them down to fit the squares in this template. I laminated this. So I will be able to write on it with Sharpie and then for things that I need to move, I can remove the Sharpie with rubbing alcohol. Wrote down what I know on here. So mornings have been a little hairy. Just not quite used to the new routine yet. So 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. I typically want to still be asleep. So I'm just going to write sleep in there. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Typically walk the dog and get the kids out. But I'm going to try bar on Mondays at that time. So I'm going to actually go ahead and transfer that over to here. Then I'm going to at least pretend that I could sleep until 7 on Sundays. Thursday is a no work day. I should have maybe gotten a ruler, but we're just roughing this in for now. Tuesday is always guitar. Thursday this week, my daughter has a chamber rehearsal, but it's not every Thursday. So I will just put that on a post-it. Cut very straight. This, I'm not gonna worry about making this beautiful and perfect. Every other Saturday, my son has a guitar orchestra rehearsal. So I'm just putting that in brackets so I know that I have to check the schedule. I do know which days it is. So there's orchestra rehearsal every Saturday, but then business stuff. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I send proofs out. And I also go to the post office. So when I walk my client's dogs, I can move around my exercise schedule, but it's usually at the same time, except for on Friday, because then I walk, go to hot yoga first. And on weeks when it changes around, I can always cover it with post-it notes. Haven't really gotten back into my regular evening routine for the school year. So I'm actually going to schedule that in. I like to make sure to take a break when the kids come home from school. So this is ideal week, and I'm kind of doing it more what my actual week looks like. But I'm kind of hoping that by doing this, I'll be able to shift things closer to how I'd like them to look. So let's put in some exercise classes. week with this week imposed in there. I'm going to try using this for several weeks and then see what needs to shift. Now let me see. Does this? No, it does not. I work in the afternoons, but exactly what I do kind of varies. I don't necessarily want to write it down. I think I'm going to take a different color pen. Let me clear that off. I've made it kind of a mess with the rubbing alcohol. color post notes I should do some more color coding as I go along but for now I will use this I have my own daily inserts but since the day designer website has them available in the full size that fits in this it's not exactly the same setup as I use but it works and I don't need to reinvent the wheel she has a really nice system I've never bought one of her flagship books they're like dated daily planners and I don't need a daily every single week for now I will put the dailies behind these, but if I use one, then I'll pull it up in front. Now, let's eat. Well, it's 
not actually ink, but let's do the meal plan. I wrote down on this post-it note a couple of things I picked up at Aldi and a few things that are coming in the CSA. So this is what I have and this is what I need to buy for the recipe that I picked out. Those are all for Wednesday. So I don't need to buy anything for Monday. So I'm going to write on my little grocery list at the top by Wednesday. So I already knew that next Saturday I want to make Spanish tortilla. Maybe I should shoot that for you. I can't make any claims to being really good at it. My sister-in-law's from Spain. That's why I know about it. I'm not super great at it, but it'll do. Oh, and I will pick up some basil. Because, okay, on Monday, I'm going to do a green salad. And that, I won't have the CSA yet. So that's with the asparagus and criminy. I also need eggs. I actually really like soft boiled eggs on a salad. I, I don't know how I started doing that. It probably sounds gross, but it's actually, I really like it. The Buddha Bowl is a recipe. I'll link it below. I think it's love and lemons. I was looking for a recipe that uses delicata squash because we have delicata squash coming in the CSA. So that's really exciting. And then on Sunday, I will do a one pot pasta dish. We have tomatoes coming. That works. That's my week, but I do need to think about lunch on Saturday. We're on the road. So for now, I'm just going to write that there. I know that I have to think about that. Make sure. Oh, and I need pizza. So that's the food for the week. I should move a to-do list up. Because I have some things I need to make sure I do. Maybe like the very front. I hope I've inspired you to think about making a weekly template for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe below. See you next week.